Good evening, junkies. Welcome to eManyJunkie.com, your ES Trading Mentors free trading video for Wednesday, April 28, 2010. Today we had a total of 8 executable trade signals for a max potential of 60 ES ticks. This video is for educational purposes only, is intended to highlight our high probability trade setups and give you a feel for the quantity of trades taken each trading day using this approach. A full trading plan and daily live trading room can be accessed via our website at eManyJunkie.com. Okay, we opened up this morning right at uh, 11.85.75 and we immediately went into a short and that did produce targets 1 and targets 2 to the downside for 9 ticks. Kind of traded sideways for a little bit, came back above, our move, back above our moving average, had a signal to get long, targets 1 and targets 2 to the upside for 6 ticks. Back down through our moving average, we were kind of pushed down a little bit on that particular move, did not... Um, get a valid opportunity to get in that move. It was actually, uh, we had a signal that almost fired. It actually did not meet all of our criteria. Uh, and then it, the market just moved away from us a little bit. So we didn't get a trade to the downside, but coming off the 10-15 reversal, we actually got a signal to get long. That produced targets one and targets two to the upside for nine additional ticks. And then, um, you know, the market started moving around a little bit. We had this, this very fast uh, move down, got a signal to get short, uh, got our first contract off, didn't get the follow through, uh, the 10.45 reversal time kind of held the market up, ended up getting stopped out of that uh, particular uh, position for a two tick loss. But then on you know that push up, we actually got a signal to get long, took some heat. I mean, the market worked against us. We didn't even get our first contract off initially, so we were we were taking a little bit of heat on that trade and then uh, luckily the 1045 confirmation time came in for us pushed the market higher gave us targets one and targets two for six ticks as we started pushing higher into the uh, the daily pivot and, and the um, the overnight session high and as you know uh, again we had some uh, n news uh, out of the European countries uh, as far as um, their ratings and whatnot and uh, the market fell off hard right before launch uh, almost on tune with what we did yesterday um, but today we actually uh, put a stop underneath it the floor didn't fall as hard uh, again I think this was because uh, you know the market kinda knew it was coming so they set it up as a trading opportunity so we actually got a real nice pullback entry uh, for targets one and targets two to the downside 18 ticks on that particular trade heading into the lunchtime dead zone now um, this was a lot I mean there was a lot going on this morning and depending on uh, you know how you reacted in some of these trades I mean I'm showing you uh, you know trading based off of our signal entries and, and, and getting the entries and whatnot so coming out of lunch we started trading into uh, the FOMC meeting now we do not um, show any trades around the FOMC there's obviously some trades you can take and the announcement came out and the market started moving higher uh, initially we actually crossed to the downside. Now this was, uh, again, this, there was a lot of market movement here and the volatility was great. We actually crossed to the downside. Now this is this is one of our extension entries and, and the extension did produce targets one and targets two to the downside uh, for six ticks. But depending uh, on how you, how you measured this one up, um, if you did not get the ex extension, you could have got a full, full stop out. So I'm showing this as a, an extension entry, six tick target. Uh, but this could have easily been a T0 minus uh, 14 tick loss for you if you didn't get the extension entry and you, you went for another trade because you can see the market started trading higher and uh, we then had a long fire uh, on our signal basis and targets one and targets two to the upside for eight ticks. So I'm, I'm, I'm officially going on, on record with eight trades for 60 ES ticks, uh, but you could make a case for eight trades for 40 ticks. Now, I'm assuming that the extension was, you know, was picked up. That was a fast move and you had to be quick to get it. Uh, and if you didn't and you, you took the later signal, you got to stop out. So officially eight trades, 60 ES ticks. For those of you scoring at home, um, you know, a lot of us didn't even trade this afternoon because of FOMC. So uh, you could have had something less than that. You could have been uh, down around the 40 tick mark. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. For more details on this plan, including all the chart setups, or to join our live trading room or video newsletter, please visit eminijunkie.com or simply click the link at the top of the screen. Thanks.
and make it a great day.